Hello friends, welcome to EM Tech channel. This is an yet another video regarding test lamp. In this video, we are going to discuss about test lamp for checking 415 volt 3 phase AC supply. Already I have done a video on importance of test lamp for checking the supply voltage and I have given the link in the description below and you can check it. Right? Let's go into video. First we will discuss about wiring diagram of a test lamp for checking 415 volt 3 phase AC supply. So, for checking 14 volt 3 phase AC supply, we need two incandescent lamps of same wattage rating. In this experiment, I have taken 60 watts in both bulbs, 60 watt bulb I have taken and I have connected the bulbs in series. You can see here one wire is coming and in another from another terminal, another one wire is taken and it is given as a loop to the next bulb and from the next bulb we are taking another one wire and it acts as a test leads. Right? Now, incandescent lamps are resistive load and we can consider two test lamps connected in series as two resistors connected in series. Normally loads will be of, electrical loads will be of three types, resistive load, inductive load and capacitive load. Incandescent lamps falls in the resistive load category, fans, motors will fall under inductive load category and batteries will fall under capacitive load category. So in this video, further when we, when we are moving on. Whenever we see a resistor, it means lamp, incandescent lamp, right? Okay. This is a circuit diagram. Two resistors means two lamps connected in series and fed across a 415 volt AC supply. What is the wattage of the uh, incandescent lamp? It is 230 volt 60 watts. In both the cases, it is same 230 volt 60 watts. And that's what the next in series circuit current will be same and the voltage is divided. To find the voltage across a resistor, we need to find its resistance first. In order to find the voltage across a resistor, first we need to find its resistance and then the circuit current. First we will find its resistance value. What is the resistance value? How to, we can assume that R1 is uh, resistance of resistor 1 and R2 is the resistance value of resistor 2, right? Next. What is the formula for resistance? Resistance formula is R is R1 is equal to V square by P. It is the value of resistor 1. So applying the values here, this is the voltage rating of this resistor. It is 230 volt. So 230 into 230 divided by wattage of the resistor. It is 60 watts. So I am applying it. It, is, it comes around 881 ohms. Second, formula for resistance R2. Resistance value of the resistor 2. In this case also, the voltage rating of the bulb is same and the voltage rating is also same. So actually we will be getting the same value, 230 to 230 divided by 60, we will be getting 881 ohms. So resistance value of resistor 1 is 881 ohms and resistance value of resistor 2 is also 881 ohms. Now in case 1, when measuring across a 415 volt AC supply, uh, first we need to find the value of the current flowing in the circuit. First, in uh, first case, preliminary case, we have find out the resistance value of the resistors and now we have to find out about the current that flows into the circuit by Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? It is V equal to I R and evaluating it, I equal to V by R it will come and where V is the supply voltage. Here the supply voltage is 415 volt as we are measuring across 415 volt AC supply and R equal to R1 plus R2 equivalent resistance. What is the R? Equivalent resistance and what is the equivalent resistance? It is the sum of two resistors in case of series circuit. In series circuit, equivalent resistance e is equal to sum of the resistors connected in the circuit. Next, so I equal to V by R applying the values here. V equal to 415 volt and R equal to 881 plus 881. What is it? Is it is the resistance values of resistor 1 and 2. So when solving this, we will be getting 0.23 amps and this is the total current that flows in this circuit. So you see it is a 0.23 amps that flows in the circuit. In case of series connection, current will be same and in parallel connection, voltage will be same. As in it is a series circuit, the 0.23 amps that flows into the resistor 1, the same 0.23 amps will flow in the resistor 2 also. So in this case, current is constant. So what? So now we have to find about voltage across resistor 1 and voltage across resistor 2 separately. So how to find voltage across resistor 1? Resistor 1 is I into R, that is V equal to I into R. I is constant. So what is the I here? 
0.23 into what is the R1? Resistance value of the resistor 1 that is lamp 1 is 881 ohms. So we will be getting it by solving we will be getting 202 volts. And voltage across the resistor 2 is what? That is lamp 2 is I into R2 it is also 0.23 and same 881 it comes around 202 volts approximately. He is 2 when measuring across 230 volt supply. What happens? In this case both the lamps are connected in series and fed across 230 volt supply. What happens? In this case already we know the value of the resistances. So now we need to find the current flowing in the circuit if the combination is fed across 230 volt supply. So by Ohm's law I equal to V by R. Now the supply voltage is 230 volt. So and the R is R, R equal to is equal to R1 plus R2 and what will come I equal to V by R. So 230 we are applying and the resistance value we already know 881 plus 881 and it comes around 0.13 amps. So this is the total current flowing in the circuit when this combination is fed across 230 volt supply. So in theory circuit as we discussed already the 0.13 amps that flows in the resistor 1 will flow in same 0.13 amps will flow in resistor 2 also. So now voltage across R1 is I into R1 it is 0.13 amps into 881 it comes around 114 volts approximately and voltage across R2 is I into R2 that is 0.13 into 818 ohms it comes around 114 volts approximately. So the voltage comes around 114 volt across each resistors. Now when measuring between two phases how it will be? As more than 200 volt will be available across each volts as we have discussed already. When measuring across a 14 volt supply what voltage will be getting? Around 202 volts. So in case of uh, 230 volt supply how much voltage will be getting? 114 volts. So as we, we are getting more than 200 volt uh, that is nearer to the actual rating of the bulb. So the bulb will glow brighter as shown when measuring 415 volt. You can see here the bulb glows brighter because we are measuring across both phases. So between uh, phases what will be the voltage? 415 volt. Right? And when measuring between phase and neutral. Suppose another case exists here. Suppose out of the two phases, one phase is discard, disconnected or when measuring single phase supply 114 volts will be available across each bulb and the bulb low dimmer means suppose we are checking in a control panel three phase supply and we are measuring in suppose we are measuring here and we are measuring now r to y when r, we are measuring r to y the bulb glows dimmer and when measuring to r to b the bulb glows brighter means the y phase got disconnected and hence when measuring across R and Y we are getting only 230 volt. So in this case we can even find if the phase is healthy or phase got disconnected or not by the uh, amount of brightness from the bulb. Also when we are measuring across phase to neutral we will be getting 230 volt and in this case also the bulb will glow dimmer. That is I have mentioned here the bulb will glow dim like this because in this case the bulb's rating actual rating is 230 volt and the bulb is getting only 114 volts due to the low voltage the bulb glows dimmer so by using this test lamp we can find both three phase supply and single phase supply and we can measure the quality of it we can measure the whether the phase got disconnected or phase is healthy or not by using this test lamp friends hope you have enjoyed this video if you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell button also so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for you friends. We will meet in next video.